Okay guys, we're going to do a quick demo of Mock Motion's plasma control system here. Um, I'm going to show you how to open some parts, how to open a DXF file you may have, how to set up some basic shapes using the nesting libraries on board, um, and then I'm going to show you a couple of the features we've got on the Mock Motion control side. Um, so I'm going to start off in the Mock Motion control system. I'm going to click nesting, which is going to bring open um, our integrated Sigma Nest version. Now from Sigma Nest Companion here, I can do some basic features. I'm going to select my 80 amps. I'm going to lay out my material. I am going to, let's load a DXF shape. I'm going to use this guy. Now this has got some geometry already defined here. Um, using our machine we've got set up right now, I'm going to decide I want to do these small holes um, with a drill bit instead of doing the plasma. So I'm going to go into the geometry of this part. I'm going to drop some points in the center of these, sorry. I'm going to drop some points in the center of these smaller holes. And then I'm going to go through and just remove the circles so that we don't also plasma cut those. And I'm just going to center drill these holes out if I wanted to get a more precision fit on that, uh, on that specific part. And I'm actually going to go, just for the sake of this demo, I'm going to remove a few of these geometries just to save um, time on the demo. That should be great there. I'm going to select that as my usable geometry. I'm going to close this out, rebuild the part. Okie dokie. And then I'm also going to load, let's say we want to do a motor mounting plate. We're going to find something from the library here that fits our needs. I'm going to start with this guy and then I'm going to do a, a, a through hole through the middle of that. So 4x4, four four, my holes are one inch off the center. At a half inch, uh, let's do quarter inch holes. Sounds good. Okay, and then let's edit that geometry also. I'm going to show you how you can real quickly do some basic edits to the geometry. I'm um, going to go back to part mode here. I'm going to lay down some quick um, reference geometry. I'm sorry. Let me close this. I'm going to go from the geometry side of this. I'm going to put some reference geometry between the holes so I can find my center point. I'm going to create a center with radius. One's good. Drop that on the intersection of these two lines. There we go. And then I'm going to remove my lines I was using as reference geometry. I'm going to accept that geometry, rebuild the part. Okie dokie. Let's say I want to do two of those guys. I'm going to nest this out. It found nice placement. Next step, pull my curve from the material library that I've got set up here. Uh, I'm going to generate my toolpath for that. Go to the next. And I'm going to post this file. This file is automatically then going to be loaded from the mock motion software side. I've got G-code already gen generated. It's going to go drill these points and then plasma cut out some geometries. Um, so from here I'm ready to set up my zero points. I'm going to activate our laser. I'm going to, as you, you may be able to see here, my plate is thrown down on the plate, on the uh, machine, sorry, at a angle. So I'm going to use plate alignment. I'm going to set my first position on any edge of the plate. I'm going to jog the machine down the edge of the plate here and find another point along that same edge. And this is going to create the rotation for our product here to nest this, this uh, file on the sheet. Then I'm going to find a point that I'd like to use as zero. I'm going to do this right over here. And I'm going to set zero all. That sets my zero point for this job right there in that corner. Um, from here, I should be ready to set my feed rates to 100. Go back to the plasma tab, and we should be ready to cut here. This is going to activate the offset to the drill. Sorry, I didn't 
get my zero point in a very good location there. I'm going to turn my laser back on. Zero to actually on this corner should be more useful. And we'll run with that. I'm going to reset my file. And let's give that a shot. Now during the cut here, if we had lost arc during a portion of this, I pushed cycle stop just to demonstrate this, but I'm going to show you how you could you could go to this first part I was cutting out. I could go to the, looks like, fifth pierce point here. Uh, fifth pierce point. And I could just go directly to that position and recover from anywhere in the file. I'm going to continue from there. You see how I can pick up on the on the fifth pierce point of this file like that. I'm also going to, I'm going to press cycle stop again during the cut here and demonstrate how I could, with the trace feature of this control, I can back it up along the profile. I can find where I'd like to continue. If I had lost arc, if we had, if we had hit a bump, um, then I'm going to do our pierce off path so I don't get a pierce point on the geometry. I'm going to jog just south of my geometry area a little bit. And that's where we're going to start from. At this point, I'm going to say, okay, well, maybe I want to leave that part. I'm going to go to the, I'm going to go to my last uh, option here and start at the first pierce point for that option. This is going to run to the drilling location. I'm sorry, it looks like our first point here is a plasma. I'm going to start with that plasma. And we're going to start running on this, on this last nested part. We're going to run a drill point at this location. And just like any other operation, I can stop in the middle of the cycle here, and then I can press continue. We'll go back and pick up right from where we left off. Drilling operations done. Back to plasma out the exterior geometry. Thank you for watching our plasma control video demo. You can find more information about the controls we offer at mockmotion.com.